Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today we're going to take a look at the new DC Collectibles 7 inch New 52 Harley Quinn figure. Now, this figure is one of three figures that was released this week by DC Collectibles. And this figure is part of what they've named it as the Suicide Squad. Uh, the other two figures released are Boomerang and Deadshot, um, who are also members of the Suicide Squad. Now, I, this is a little different from previous DC uh, super villain figures that they've released for the New 52 line. Whereas, you know, instead of saying super villains at the top, it's labeled as the Suicide Squad. Um, I, I haven't really read the New 52 Suicide Squad comic, so I, I, I don't know if uh, the Suicide Squad, I guess, are kind of like bad guys who are good guys, but still kind of bad guys. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, you know, this figure features Harley Quinn in her new designed New 52 look. Um, and the box is, it's, you know, typical DC Collectibles packaging, you know, the window box type packaging. We've got some red and black highlights to match the Suicide Squad. We also have some bullet holes uh, punched in on the right side of the packaging, and then underneath that, the Harley Quinn name and everything. And the figure, like with most of the DC Collectible figures, is clearly displayed along with the accessories this figure comes with. Then on one side we have the darkened in image of, of the character and the other side we have a picture of the figure along with uh, the name of the sculptor and this one was sculpted by Jack Matthews. And it also tells us this figure stands approximately 6.775 inches tall. Then finally on the back we have the typical thumbnail image of the figure along with a little brief bio and then underneath that we have images of the other two figures in the series uh, which as I mentioned are Boomerang and Deadshot and all three of these figures were released this week by DC Collectibles so you should be able to find them at your uh, local comic book or specialty shop or online e-tailer Okay, so let's get this figure open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Um, like with most DC Collectibles figures, we've uh, got a figure here with a lot of nice detailing, uh, solid paint apps, um, all the way down to like her fingernails, which have different color. Uh, one hand has red fingernail paint, the other's blue. Um, so nice attention to detail all along the figure. Um, She's got working gun holsters. The belt's not removable. Uh, and she's got these little plastic belts that are like loose on the bottom of the holsters, which are an attached piece, so they don't they're not removable or anything. Um, she's got for accessories she comes with her hammer, which is just a um, you know, the top of the hammer is just a hollow piece of plastic. Uh, painted with a silver metallic paint and then the handle is just a basic brown. There's not like any kind of doesn't look yeah I guess it's supposed to be wood but it's just solid brown so there's no texturing or anything on the handle. Um, she comes with two guns that are basically metallic silver and there's some nice sculpting detail on the guns. I do think the guns are kind of big for her, or come off as kind of big. I don't, I don't know if that's how they appear in the comic, but they definitely look a little bit big for her hand, her tiny hands. Um, and as far as holding them, she holds the guns pretty well. She's got the one trigger finger for the one hand. So, for the most part, she holds the guns pretty good. Now, the hammer, because her hands are sculpted open wide enough for the guns, she does not hold the hammer very tightly. Um, she holds the hammer probably better in her left hand than her right, but still, she doesn't get a good firm grip on the, ham on the hammer. And the hammer's heavy enough that 
it doesn't really stay in between the figures so like you can kind of balance it on her shoulder you know like you see in the comics a lot and stuff but she does not get a good firm grip on this hammer or mallet or whatever you want to call it um, she's got articulated ponytails so you can turn the ponytails she's got this little cape that's attached around her neck loosely she's got bullets sculpted on her on her gun belt like I said just nice attention to detail uh, these little loose belts on the bottom of her holsters which I guess you know would be made to like go around her legs but she leaves them you know unbuckled and then like I said she's got even like the nail polish on her hand so one hand has got blue blue nail polish and the other has red and then her skin you know is is a white pearl type color I don't know how well it picks up on the camera but yeah, you know, it looks pretty good for for this particular character, of course. And I guess in the comics, in the New 52 comics now, her skin, it's not just makeup anymore. It's Her skin is permanently, uh, permanently white. Now, one thing I want to mention, you know, being these are the first figures released by DC Collectibles in 2014, it seems with the new year that we're also getting a price increase. Um, these figures normally cost around... 20 um 20 22 dollars at the comic book store but uh but now they seem to be uh, uh going for 25 dollars all three figures in the suicide squad wave were 25 dollars at least at my comic shop um, but i think i think that is the standard price for them so expect to pay a little bit more going into the new year with these figures okay so let's go over articulation real quick on this figure um, for the head, she's got pretty good movement. Um, as I mentioned before, she's got the articulated ponytail, so you can move them up, down, however you want. Um, I don't know the real reason for that, other than perhaps um, it does seem like the ponytails are more durable on this figure, as opposed to, say, the Arkham video game version, which uh, was very easy to snap off. So definitely I don't think you have to worry about breaking the ponytails off as much on this figure. Uh, she has good rotation with the head. She can look left and right. And she can also look down pretty good. And she can look up some. She's got the standard uh, ball hinge shoulders. So she's got good rotation in the arm. She's got a swivel at the bicep. She's got a single hinged elbow. So she can bend her elbow pretty good but no no kind of swivel at the wrist which is a little disappointing uh, some wrist articulation would definitely be nice on this one for like holding her hammer better and things like that uh, she's also got no midsection articulation at all either so no swivel at the waist or anything like that for the legs uh, she can bend her legs forward pretty good and back but she can't do the splits at all and she's got a swivel at the thigh single hinge knee and no ankle articulation at all okay so that about does it for my review overall I think this is a pretty decent figure uh, nice detailing with the sculpt uh, nice paint apps um, articulation is not the greatest but it you know pretty standard for what we expect from DC collectible so you know if you've been collecting these figures you know what you're getting in that department she does come with some decent accessories the two uh, guns the working uh, holsters and the hammer even though it would be nice if she could hold the hammer a little bit better than she does um, but otherwise I, you know I, I can't really complain so, you know, really, if you like this look for Harley, the new 52 look for her, then I think this is definitely a figure that you would want to pick up. Now, again, you know, it looks like we are getting a little bit of a price hike on DC collectible figures going into the new year, so just expect to pay a couple more dollars if you want to pick these up. 
Um, and that's my review. We'll have uh, images up on TNI for the figure if you want to check those out. Um, and we'll be getting up reviews of the other two figures in the Suicide Squad series in the next day or so. Tomorrow we're probably going to do a review of uh, Nika's uh, Ed 209 figure from the RoboCop line. Um, and then we'll, we'll get back to the rest of these DC collectible figures. So I hope you enjoy the review, and until next time, I'll check you later.